Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those of you who are new, so welcome. Today I'll be doing a first impressions and kind of like a demo and swatches of the new Lorac, I think that's how you pronounce their company, and the Beauty and the Beast collection. So I did get the eyeshadow palette which looks like that and then I did get the lipsticks which for some reason I already took them out of the little packaging so it's kind of hard to show you guys but that is what they look like um I'm gonna try and keep this super quick especially because my camera is like almost dead I don't know why I didn't charge it so this is what the palette looks like it literally looks like a book which I think is cute however is a little hard to store I'm not gonna lie my drawer is already full but I don't have my shelving anymore um I do but they're full so this is really cute I think if you can store it like on a shelf or something um it has this little magnetic clasp and it just has a bunch of the information on the back it says total net weight 0.32 ounces I'm guessing that is per shadow and then it says 11.2 grams so I don't I will look up the prices at the end of this I got this one at first launch I've been sitting on this stuff for over a week now I just am I'm just not getting around to filming so sorry about that um they've been doing construction which I'm sure you guys can hear it but yeah so you also get a little brush with it which I honestly don't really use the brushes that I get in palettes that much because they're just not my cup of tea. So anyways, I'll show you guys the palette. This is what it looks like. The only downside to it, there's my camera, the only downside to it is I really wish there was like a bright yellow. I just, I don't know why I thought there would be, but when I think of Beauty and the Beast, I just picture like her bright yellow dress. Um, but I still think the colors are really pretty. The pink screams like feminine and like bell and then they have like these blue and like darker red and then like these kind of off yellow gold shades that I think are really pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this I already did the rest of my face and prime my eyes to keep this a little bit shorter hopefully but yeah so I couldn't decide what look I was going to do because I've seen two of the same looks I've seen a, like a people doing like a smoked out blue look or just like a feminine pinky look and I don't want to do the same stuff but I really don't know what I'd do with the other colors and I'm wearing blue today so we're just gonna wing it so first I'm gonna dip into the shade TikTok down there and put that in my crease using my Morphe M433 as long as I can remember at the end of this video which you guys will see if I remembered um, I am gonna do brush swatches of all of these colors on my arm and then I will be doing lipstick swatches on my lips and I will swatch them on my hand because I saw some people requesting that too which is fine so I'll do both so I'm just popping this in my crease alright so now that I popped that in my crease I'm honestly feeling this bottom row today I will do more tutorials using this in the Sunset Palette like I mentioned in my last video so you guys can get like different ideas and stuff. So I'm going to take, actually I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to dip into the shade Inner Beauty is this one right there and I'm just going to put that right over where I put the first color which was TikTok. And then kind of have it on my lid also. Alright, so now I'm going to take this little Tarte brush that I have. It's like nice for packing on shimmer shadows. I am going to go spray it because I don't want to get any fault since I did my other face makeup. And I really don't feel like putting translucent powder in my eyes because sometimes it dries me out. So now I'm going to go in with this bottom shade. It's called Real You. It's this pretty slight shimmery pink. And I am just going to pack that all over my lid. Ooh, it's very pretty. Luckily, oh dang it, we got a little bit of fallout still. Oh well. 
I usually almost always do with shimmer shadows. It's just kind of like how it goes. I didn't think about doing my eyes first. I don't know why I didn't because I usually remember but so honestly this gives off like a lot of sparkle and uh, I just smeared that out, like, glitter everywhere but anyways and like not a whole lot of pink so yeah. Alright so I just spent like quite a while packing that on it built up it just took longer than I would have liked so now I'm going to just continue on um and I really don't want to just leave it like this so I am going to dip into the shade impress first is this one in the ooh, top corner right there and I'm going to put this on the outer corner. I just really want to get a little bit of definition. And since I put that pink down already, it should blend out pretty easy like it did. I really hope this construction isn't like crazy loud, but I feel like today it's pretty loud. I really like the eye look right there. I don't want to do anything like too crazy today, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that for now, of course. Um, I am gonna put on some liner and false lashes. And I already know I'm probably gonna be using the lashes in a box in E1, in case you're wondering. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and do all that real quick just so I can keep this somewhat shorter because the point of it is the eyeshadows and the lipsticks, so I will be right back. Alright, so now that those are on, now I can finish my bottom lash line. So first I am going to take my Morphe E18 and I'm going to dip into the shade TikTok. It's the one that I first used in my crease and I'm just going to sweep this under my bottom lash line. Alright, so now with the same brush, I'm dipping into the shade Inner Beauty and putting that right over top. Now I'm going to go in with a nude liner for my bottom lash line. This is the ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Honey Dude. I'm just going to take this and put it right on my waterline. I just want to keep my eyes nice and open but I didn't want to do like a white because I think that might be a little too harsh. So now I'm going to go on using my bottom mascara. Um, you can use obviously any mascara, so just the one I love to use. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel. If you have been watching my videos, you know that this is my favorite bottom lash mascara. Alright, so that is it for the eye makeup. wanted to keep it pretty simple today since I do need to go to work after this um but I will definitely do more tutorials with this so now I'm gonna go ahead and do some lip swatches and after that I will do some brush swatches with the eyeshadows so you guys can see all the shadows so we can make sure they all perform well
those swatches on my skin tone. I am like literally butt white as you can see. Um, the back side of my arm is darker but it's really hard to hold it up like that so that's why I'm holding it up like this. I did put them on order in the order I did the lip swatches. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some brush swatches for you guys and then after that I will give you guys my final thoughts on the palette and the lipsticks. Alright, so here is swatches of the top row and the shades are from like top to bottom. Dream It, Timekeeper, Our Guest, and Impress. Now Impress, Impress, does need to be built up. That is one that I used today on the eyes and I'll go ahead and show you guys brush swatches of the next ones. Alright, so next up we have to, from top to bottom beast mode, enchanting, swept up, and look beyond. Now the second one is like the color of my skin tone, but a shimmer, so that's kind of why it's hard to see. It actually is like really pretty. And now we'll move on to the next four. Alright, so here are the next four. This is the third row down. We have my castle chip in, which is like my color skin. Romance, which honestly that one did not do the greatest. That is one that I did have to build up. And then we have Spellbreaker. Alright, here are the last four. I know it's kind of hard to see because they're really light and some did not swatch the best, honestly. So, first up, we have Inner Beauty, Tea Time, Tick Tock, and then Real You, which Real You I did use on my eyes. And that was one that I told you guys gave off just mostly sparkle and like barely any pink color to it. So, that one did take a lot of time to build up. Other than that, the other ones are okay down here. Tea Time is good, it's just a light color, and then. The pinky ones are just, I think, a little bit lighter, so they're kind of hard to get to show up, but yeah. Alright, so that is it for the swatches of everything. I hope that that stuff was helpful for you guys. Um, there really isn't many videos up on this that or I just couldn't get any to come up, but I know a lot of, like, really big YouTubers, obviously, will do, like not brush swatches, they'll do finger swatches because honestly it's easier to make something look better generally with the finger swatch and brush swatches are more true. Plus I like doing a tutorial using what I get for you guys so you guys can like see how it performs while I'm filming because I'm not someone who like edits that kind of stuff out. So just so you guys know but, yeah, I really like the lipsticks. I don't think I showed you guys up close what the packaging looks like. So, ignore my, like, sad nails. But, I love the packaging. I love the little roses all over it. Overall, I really like the lipsticks. I think there's only, like, one shade I probably wouldn't wear. But, I did go ahead and put back on my favorite. And, it is True Beauty, I believe. Yeah. It has, like, some slight sparkle to it. And... I will go ahead and put in the description box like how these wear, but it's really comfortable on the lips, um, just like their other ones. I'm sure I'll have to reapply once I eat and everything, but yeah, overall I do like this collection. I do think the lipsticks are worth it. The eyeshadow palette is definitely worth it. Um, I remember when people were really upset that they didn't, like no one did a Beauty and the Beast collection, which I was too honestly, because Lorac did the Pirates of the Caribbean, which I also enjoy. But they just like dropped this on us like as a surprise and my boyfriend saw it and he's like, you need it. So I got it. Luckily, I did not get the lip glosses or the blush palette because I honestly don't wear lip glosses that much. And they just looked like the exact same colors as these but glossy and I don't do those. So I just didn't want to waste my money to be honest. And the blush palette, I have so many blushes and... I have a lot of palettes and honestly I only use like a couple shades and that's how that palette looked to me. I've seen mixed reviews on that so I think the lipstick 
collection is definitely worth it and same with the eyeshadow palette all right so i went ahead and looked up some prices for you guys so the eyeshadow palette it is $48 and it says it has 16 new and exclusive shades. I do think this is worth it. There's only two shadows in here that I was really disappointed with at all. And they're actually able to be built up so it's really not that bad. Um, I definitely think it's worth it especially if you are a Beauty and the Beast lover. So yeah. And then next the cheek palette which I did not get is $28. With new blushes and highlighters, it says. And then the lipstick collection that I showed you guys is $36. And you get five lipsticks. That is, like, such a great deal. Um, and look at this packaging. The formula feels great. The colors are great. I think I'll definitely be able to wear all of these colors. And I've seen swatches on medium skin tones. And it looked beautiful on them. Like, some of these shades that are too dark for me to be a nude were, like, beautiful nudes on deeper skin tones and then the lip gloss set is $34 so yeah that is it overall I really enjoy it and I would definitely recommend the eyeshadow palette and the lipstick collection I obviously can't speak on the other stuff and I told you guys my thoughts but I hope this video was helpful for you guys um for my next video let me know down below I'm either going to do a tutorial first impressions review and swatches and all that of the new the balm cosmetics i believe it's called the nude beach palette um i saw that urban decay launched their heat palette and honestly i never cared for my urban decay naked palettes i have one of the like first ones i think it's like the second and then i also have the smoky and i honestly don't reach for them ever like Ever. they just sit in a drawer so I saw that the balm came out with this one and it honestly looks so similar I can't believe more people haven't talked about it so I was gonna film with it for you guys it's only like $36 I believe for the balm one I also got two of their liquid lipsticks to try out so let me know if you want to see that or a, another kind of bold colorful tutorial using the Natasha Denota palette both will be coming I don't know the order yet but yeah, if you guys liked and enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this and more in-depth swatches and reviews for you guys. And yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell notification. I don't know which side it's on, but if you want to be notified because people have been telling me that you don't get notified anymore, which... I know the people I'm subscribed to, I don't get notified anymore until like days later for some reason. So yeah, you don't have to. It's not going to hurt my feelings, but if you want to, it's free. But yeah, thank you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!